Hi! Or should I say, Gong Yi Fat Choi. It is Chinese New Year this week. That's right, the new moon that we're having this Monday, January 23rd, here at your horoscopes at work from readthestars.com. It's going to be the year of the dragon. Yeah, get it done, folks. This is great. The year of the dragon is very, very special. The dragon in Chinese astrology has to do with spiritual, spiral energy, the kind that it underlies everything on Earth. And uh, people born during this year, um, anybody who was born actually, um, it would be 1990, 1988, 1976, 1964, 1952, 1940 are dragon people. And they're wonderful people, they're, but you know, they are a little bit special and a little bit different from the rest of us and they'll let us know that. But anyway, um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in another segment. I know a little bit about Chinese astrology, not a lot, but a little bit, enough to clue you in as to what your sign will be like this year. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. We have the new moon in Aquarius, which is the beginning of the new lunar cycle, according to other forms of astrology outside the Western one that we normally talk about. And we also have Mars going into retrograde. That happens in all systems of astrology because that's just the way that we're observing Mars. It will be in the sign of Virgo. So uh, look at your daily horoscope for Monday, January 23rd, and it will tell you a lot about the area of life that you'll have to focus on while Mars is retrograde between January 23rd and the middle of April. Are you ready for that one, huh? It's going to be a long retrograde period. So get ready to deal with it. Fortunately, the rest of the week is kind of a little bit slow. This is what's going to happen, folks. It's like this surge of energy, but then like, whoa, I can't get anything started. It's because we have to be very careful about the things that we start now. Think about a long-term project that you want to launch and give it like a soft launch. Just like start to work with it. Don't pour all of your energy into it quite yet, but just start to work with it and see how it integrates into your life and how you can make it better so then by April you can do your full-blown announcement or your full-blown change, whatever it is that you want to do that's different from what you're doing now. Um, Tuesday, a really quiet day. Moon in Aquarius with no aspects. Wednesday, a sleepy day. Moon in Pisces. Moon conjunct Neptune. Uh, people are going to be, you know, the moon conjunct Neptune comes before the moon goes into Pisces, but pretty soon, guess what? Neptune is going to be in Pisces. So get used to this feeling. Get used to this otherworldly kind of feeling. And learn to master it like a good dragon person would, because it's coming up. We'll be talking about that next week. On Thursday, the moon will be conjoining Venus and Mars in Pisces, and so that will be nice for relationships. Friday, we have the Aries moon with a little bit of uh, opposition to our thoughts. If you do anything that's a little bit too fast, the authority Whatever it might be, you know, it could even be something like the gigantic piece of furniture that you stub your toe against. You have to be careful that when you act on your impulses, you're also acting with some kind of rationality behind that. Mercury will also be moving into Aquarius, and that's fortunate because it will give us a lot more rational capacity and a lot more ability to, um, you know, bring our thoughts to the forefront and really believe in them. Saturday, um, very excitable. People will be talking and talking and ex sharing and exchanging their ideas. Moon in Aries and Mercury sextile planet Uranus. And this means, you know, ideas coming at us this fast that we don't know what to do with. When they're coming at you that fast under the circumstances, write them down and work with them. But work with them very methodically because they might not pan out exactly the way they seem to, you know, like they might when they come flying at you out of the sky. Then on Sunday, we have one of those no exact aspects today. We're going to really focus on what it is to have the moon in Aries and what Aries means. Aries does mean the beginning of the spring. It also means impulsivity. It also means leadership and fearlessness. So I think it's a good combination with the year of the dragon here upon us that we think about being fearless and um, not ruthless, but fearless, okay? So um, that is the wrap for the week. I think the best work day of the week is probably going to be mm, like Friday. Not a great week for work, actually. I'm gonna have to take things slowly, okay? Have any questions or comments or anything else? And hey, how about those football games? That was a wild day, wasn't it? You can contact me, Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.